Joan Collins is a TV actress best known for her decade-long portrayal of Alexis Colby on the hit soap opera Dynasty. The 89-year-old star has been married to the same man for two decades, though she had a string of failed marriages and relationships before that. Join Facts First as Joan Collins holds nothing back about her former lovers. Thanks to Rocket Money for sponsoring today's video. More about them later. Former Dynasty actress Joan Collins is doing incredibly well for herself at age 89. For the past two years, she's been in a loving marriage with a man named Percy Gibson. Joan and Percy met while Joan was working on a touring stage production in the early 2000s. According to Joan, she got along so well with Percy, she initially assumed he was gay. However, she realized he was straight after she sent him to pick up some eyeliner and he came back with mascara. Though Joan and Percy had been friends for a significant time period before becoming romantically involved, the actress didn't waste much time once she realized he was straight. The two ended up tying the knot in 2002, and they've been happily married ever since. They've also continued to work together in a professional capacity. Nowadays, Percy is just as much Joan's business manager as he is her husband. While this isn't always the best thing in husband and wife relationships, it seems Joan and Percy make it work. At 57, Percy is a good deal younger than his wife. Joan treats the age gap between the two of them with a flippant sense of humor. Percy would have a hard time finding a woman in her late 50s that looks quite as stunning as Joan Collins does as 89. The actress has taken great care of herself over the years, and she claims she rarely touches meat. Despite the fact that she seems to have defied typical human aging, she claims she's never gone under the knife. According to her, she tried Botox injections once, but didn't enjoy the experience due to a fear of needles. Joan is still a natural beauty at age 89. Joan looks beautiful at age 89, though she was something else during her prime. When Joan was at her most beautiful and popular, men courted her left and right. This is evident not only in the relatively high number of husbands that Joan had before marrying fifth husband Percy, but also in the alleged three dozen romantic partners she had besides these husbands. Joan has been asked on numerous occasions what makes Percy so special in relation to all the lovers she previously had. According to Joan, Percy is simply a good deal nicer than the rest of them. Though Joan is averse to going under the knife to increase her sex appeal, she does wear a good deal of makeup. She also claims that she often wears wigs during public events, and she doesn't like how long it takes to get her hair looking the way she wants to. The actress's preference for wearing wigs in public even led to her developing her own wig line. When Joan first showed up in Hollywood, she claims none other than Marilyn Monroe herself gave her advice on how to deal with men. According to Marilyn, Joan needed to be careful on how she dealt with men in the industry if she wanted a successful career. Joan took this advice to heart, but she wasn't willing to sleep with anyone to get ahead. Joan often jokes that she could have become even more famous if she had allowed herself to be passed around to Hollywood executives. But Joan is plenty famous enough as it is. Joan has never slept around to get ahead in her career, but she did have an unfortunate incident where a notable Hollywood figure drugged and took advantage of her on a date. Shockingly, this figure ended up becoming her first husband. Before we tell you more, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. With inflation and the increasing cost of living, it's difficult to stay on budget to save for retirement. Having some extra guidance with budgets can help, and that's where Rocket Money comes in. Rocket Money is an all-in-one finance platform that helps you save more and spend less. The personal finance manager allows you to manage subscriptions, lower bills, monitor your credit score, and build your savings all in one place. Rocket Money can see if you have recurring charges for subscriptions you forgot about. From there, they cancel unwanted subscriptions for you with just a tap. You never have to get on the phone or try to hunt down the cancel button. Inside the platform, you can set budgets and monitor your spending for those categories. If you go over budget, you'll get friendly notifications that help you stay on track. You can also monitor your credit score. With complete access to your credit reports and history, Rocket Money alerts you of important changes that impact your score and offers you insights on ways to improve it. Rocket Money is trusted by 3.4 million members and counting. To try it out for free today and unlock more features with premium, head to rocketmoney.com slash faxverse or click the link in the video description. Joan's first husband was also her rapist. From 1952 to 56, Joan was married to her first husband. 
He was an Irish actor named Maxwell Reed, and the circumstances surrounding their marriage are shocking. According to Joan, she was a virgin when she went out on her first date with the actor. She had no intention of sleeping with him, but she ended up doing so against her own volition. It seems Maxwell slipped a drug into her cocktail that caused her to pass out. At that point, he raped the incapacitated actress. When Joan woke up, she realized what had happened and became ill. But these were different times, and there wasn't any recourse for Joan to take to get back at the perpetrator. She also felt marked by the man because of what he had done to her. Joan believed it was her duty to marry the man who took her virginity, which is how she ended up tying the knot with Maxwell after the crime. Obviously, that marriage didn't end up going well, but they still spent five years wedded. Maxwell Reed was 32 when he met Joan Collins, and Joan was barely out of her teens. After divorcing Maxwell, Joan stayed unmarried for the next several years while hooking up with several notable figures in Hollywood. One of these was Harry Belafonte, who was married at the time. Joan claims she couldn't help herself from starting up an affair with him, and the Calypso singer felt a similar way. Their affair only lasted a short period before Harry started feeling guilty. Warren Beatty couldn't get enough of Joan. After hooking up with Belafonte, a 26-year-old Joan Collins was said to have had a pretty serious relationship with 22-year-old Warren Beatty. The two became hot and heavy for a time, but Joan alleges she couldn't keep up with the young actor's libido. According to Joan, Warren wanted to have sex seven times a day. Joan would have liked to fulfill the actor's request, but it wore her out too much. A friend of Joan's warned her that not satiating Warren's desires might lead to the actor seeking fulfillment elsewhere. It seems this ended up becoming the case, as Warren cheated on Joan multiple times. According to legend, some of the actresses Warren cheated with include Natalie Wood, Diane Keaton, and Goldie Hawn. Joan ended up becoming pregnant with the actor's child towards the end of their relationship. Joan felt she wasn't ready to start a family yet, and she also felt that Warren wasn't the right man to do it with. Because of this, she got an abortion around the same time that their relationship ended. In 1963, Joan married second husband Anthony Newley, and they were married until 1971. She then married a man named Ron Cass throughout the majority of the 70s. In 1985, she entered into a two-year marriage to a man named Peter Holm. Upon their divorce in 1987, she remained unmarried for 15 years before finally wedding Percy Gibson. Joan Collins turned down a few members of the Rat Pack. Besides the husbands and boyfriends Joan has had over the years, there also have been some notable figures that she wasn't too keen on hooking up with. According to legend, Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, and Richard Burton each pursued Joan. Frank allegedly tried to get the actress to accompany him on a flight to Hamburg so he could take her out to dinner. When Joan told the famous crooner that such a flight couldn't be worked into her schedule, he allegedly hung up on her immediately. His pal Dean Martin seems to have had even less tact. According to Joan, Dean simply showed up at her door one day and began banging on it while exclaiming he wanted to take the actress out for a drink. Understandably, Joan didn't take Dean up on the offer. Finally, Joan Collins was famously said to have turned down the chance to hook up with Richard Burton because she didn't want to end up becoming just another notch in his bedpost. Joan remains best known for her work on Dynasty, though she never received equal pay compared to co-star John Forsyth. According to Joan, John received twice as much as her during the early days of the series. Towards the end of the series, Joan finally managed to convince the studio to give her around the same amount as John per episode. But the studio simply worked their way around this by putting her in fewer episodes. Now it's time to hear from you. Which of these relationships was most surprising to hear about? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.